Now with an exclusive investigation into the origins of the coronavirus. Researchers tracked down new evidence showing what could be an even earlier appearance in China. And our chief national affairs correspondent Tom Yamas is here with the findings. Good morning, Tom. George, good morning to you. China has come under scrutiny for its initial response to the coronavirus. And as we've learned here and around the world, time is of the essence when battling this deadly disease. What you're about to see has startled the doctors who are disease specialists. They found it in Wuhan, and it's leading to even more questions. This morning, new evidence the coronavirus may have been sweeping through Wuhan long before Chinese health officials told the world they had a problem. These satellite photos, seen here for the first time, show various Wuhan hospitals on several days in October of 2019. The clues are all those red dots. They represent cars inside packed hospital parking lots, three months before the Chinese government announced the spread of COVID-19. When you start pulling these images together and you see a pattern emerge, the first thing you think of, there's no way that this could be possible. Dr. John Brownstein is the lead researcher of this new study from Boston Children's Hospital and Harvard Medical School. He specializes in disease surveillance. Using images from commercially available satellites, he and his team analyzed more than 300 photos of Wuhan hospitals. Satellite photos mirror images, October 2018, October 2019, and you see the number of cars skyrocket. So much greater and greater than any other sort of time period that we had looked at through, through multiple years. This satellite image of Hubei Women and Children Hospital was taken in October of 2018 with 393 cars in the parking lot. A full year later, 714. At Wuhan's Tinyo Hospital, 171 cars in October of 2018, jumping to 285 in 2019. At Jiangyang Hospital, 506 to 640. And even Wuhan's smaller hospitals, like Tanji Medical Center, 112 cars in 2018 compared to 214 a year later, a 90% increase. So more cars uh, to a hospital, the hospital's busier, likely because maybe something's happening in the community and infection is growing and people have to see a doctor. Researchers say they can't prove this increased activity is due to COVID-19, but they did uncover another clue when they looked at Baidu, the Google equivalent in China. You don't only have photos, you also looked into the internet searches of what was happening in October. What did you find? Yeah. What we found is people were searching for terms related to diarrhea, um, which we know now is an important symptom of COVID, as well as cough. And these things were starting to increase, you know, late summer and early fall. Brownstein tells ABC the study also considered potential outside factors unrelated to coronavirus that could impact this spike, like mass gatherings or natural disasters. We looked through all of this. We couldn't identify any other reason for this signal. ABC spoke with multiple infectious disease experts who told us there is almost always a delay in identifying and then reporting an outbreak. China has adamantly maintained they reported the outbreak in a timely fashion. But their own CDC director recently told Chinese local media the novel coronavirus had existed long before it was found at the wet market in Wuhan in late December. Now, we have asked the Chinese government for reaction to these photos and the research. They had no comment, but they did point us to a statement they put out yesterday that said, quote, the origin of the virus requires research and it must be based on facts and evidence. George? Fascinating. Tom Yamas, thanks very much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.